Well, let's do a real-world case study on a Chrysler skim system. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at the wiring diagram. Now, lower left-hand corner, you see the heart of the system, body control module. And we've got all those inputs from the ignition, of course, and then we see the body control module again uh, on the next page. Here it is, the top left-hand corner of the screen. There it says BCM. And you can see it is connected via data bus wires to the skim module. So there it is. Actually, that's the screen. Sentry, key, remote, entry, module. So there it is. Wait, skim module. It's not a dotted line. It's a solid line. What does that mean, Tex? That's right. You're seeing the whole thing. The whole enchilada right there. That's all the wires it has. Three. Looks like power, ground, red's power, the green, whatever going on the bottom of the page is ground, and the other one must be a single wire, so it must be like a, a J1850 bus, like Chrysler PCI, okay? Pin two of the DLC. So there's that screen module, three wires. Wonder how that works. I don't know. There's the BCM again, the top left-hand corner. There's your door jam switches. There's more switches for the trunk and so forth, feeding into that BCM. So that's basically the gist of how the system works. I got a screen module with three wires, power, ground, and serial data, and I got a BCM with all the discrete inputs from all those switches for tamper control, that kind of stuff. Now, here comes the case study. 2007 Dodge Caravan, pre-CAN, so it's using Chrysler PCI, the J1850 bus in pin two. Intermittent no-start condition. The engine won't start, the scanner won't communicate the PCM when this occurs, and maybe you have an ABS or BCM or some, some kind of other light on. Remember the missing link? We talked about that screen module only having three wires, okay? How can it do its job? Well, it has to do it on the data bus. So, but how can it get information about what the key's doing? If you just got power, ground, and serial data, last time I checked, these things sent out a radio signal, not a serial data bus message. There's something else missing in that wiring schematic for this system. You know what that something is? It's the lock cylinder. It's the actual part of the screen module that receives the radio message. So that basically is the wireless communications module, WCM. So the screen is double duty here. The screen module, not only is the exciter reader, reads the pen out of the key, also knows the VIN, gives the information across the data bus, it also does the job of a wireless control module. So it might also be called that in the schematic. So be aware of that. What's a wireless control module do? Well, this is a wireless signal between the key and the uh, immobilizer, right? But also the RKE, the FOB part of the system is the uh, wireless system and TPMS is wireless system as well. So that module you're seeing there in that page, that does it all. Now, let's go on with the rest of our case study. So here we are looking at that screen module again, upper left-hand corner. This is a serial data bus schematic. And we see it's all tied together with the cluster, PCM, everything else, all in parallel. They're all talking together on that data bus. There's the radio. Radio. Let's be observant with our eyes. Use every sense, sensory perception that God gave you as your tech, sight, sound, touch, feel, taste, whatever. We all use them. Use your good old eyes here. We've got an aftermarket radio. Let's take a peek at that radio. I'm getting intermittent issues with communications on the serial bus, and I got intermittent no start. Presumably the scream is preventing it from starting. Yeah, the scream is, because here's what happened. Somebody put an aftermarket radio in and botched the job, the repair job. You can actually see a burnt spot on the harness there. This is basically a, uh, a real in-the-field job. John Anello, uh, courtesy of his website, a master mobile tech out in the uh, New Jersey area, fixed this Chrysler minivan by replacing the botched wiring job in the aftermarket radio that was pulling that PCI bus down and killing the whole system, including the no-start. So that is what you want to look at in addition to all the things that go wrong with the immobilizer as far as the pens, the skims, the screams, and all the vins and all that stuff.